All right, son. Our story begins with two opposing armies fighting one another ferociously. They both wanted to take over the land of Madara. As the battle was coming to an end, the battle for Notzak would prove to be the last fight. Think I'm down. Get the helicopter up here. Everyone was thought to have died that day, except for one man, and his name was <laughs> Captain Crunch. He was a young man who stood for righteousness and honor. Although he was badly injured, he remained alive and began to crawl to the base of a nearby mountain. All of a sudden, a group of dinosaurs raced past his location and attacked a smaller dinosaur for food. The dinosaurs were hungry and just feasted on that little dinosaur. Captain Crunch was spotted by one of the dinosaurs. He tried to move away, but the dinosaur quickly backed him up into a shallow cave. S stay back! Stay back! Stay back! As the dinosaurs aggressively stared at Captain Crunch and began to approach, another dinosaur stepped in to protect him and stop the others from attacking. In some way, the dinosaur was protecting Captain Crunch, for the dinosaur knew that Captain Crunch was injured. The dinosaur managed to keep the rest of the group away from the captain and was able to have them leave the area. The dinosaur that protected him grabbed some food and dropped it off for the captain to eat and then left. The captain was shocked and amazed. My life was just saved by a dinosaur. That's crazy. The next day, a rescue unit surveyed the area and was able to locate Captain Crunch in the small cave. Captain, Captain, we're here to rescue you. Are you okay? The rescue squad headed back to their main camp with the captain safely secure on one of the flatbeds. As they approached the hunting base, they were able to get the captain first aid, food, and a bit of rest. A small hunting crew had just returned from the day's hunt and were able to kill a couple of dinosaurs. Yeah, they were making some loud noises. So Captain Crunch woke up and headed outside to see what was the commotion. At that moment, Captain Crunch noticed a small group of hunters torturing and laughing at one of their only remaining dinosaurs. Here. He pointed their guns at him and shot at his feet. The dinosaur was scared and ready to protect itself. But just then, Captain Crunch recognized as he glanced at the dinosaur that it was the same dinosaur that had saved his life, Notzak. Captain Crunch rushed to the aid of the dinosaur. Don't wait, don't shoot him, don't shoot him. God, don't shoot him. He's the one that protected me. He saved me. He's the one, he's the reason why I'm here. I cannot let you harm him. If you shoot him, you must shoot me. Captain, move out of the way. We must take this dinosaur out before he can lead to more problems. No, I won't let you do it. He saved me. I'm begging you, please. 
as the captain pleaded for the dinosaur's life, the dinosaur whimpered and hid right behind him. The dinosaur, for some reason, knew that Captain Crunch meant well. All right, boys. Captain's in the way. We're not gonna kill this dinosaur. Let's 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 pack everything up. All right, Captain, we got you. We'll head back to camp now. Thank you, boys. Thank you. Well, you're safe to go now, my friend. I remember you. You're the one that saved me after that battle when all my friends passed away. So I wanted to thank you. I never had the chance. I hope you can be happy. I know you lost your family. But I hope that you can be happy. You take care now. Don't let these hunters get to you. You get away as far as you can from here, alright? The dinosaur nudged and let Captain Crunch pet him. So that's the story of an unlikely friendship after a great battle. The captain got a friend for life and visits the dinosaur at that desert, Notsack Desert, every chance he has. And the dinosaur still to this day remembers his savior. The end. So you can